Hey, all right, guys. I'm back here. Um, so everything I want you to notice that uh, um, my Eclipse trunk, you know, the way it builds is kind of curved. Like when it gets out here, it curves a little bit downward. So it's uneven, like around this area that uh, I'm going to mount uh, uh, my universal carbon fiber spoiler. Uh, and I'll, I'll put I'll put the, uh, the spoiler on so you can see what I'm talking about. Here. So all the bolts have already been on. Um, I just haven't finished glue the uh, one of the pads yet because uh, there's something I need to tell you guys uh, before I glue it on. There's something I need to buy too because uh, so all the bolts already mount on, right? You know, I just put down a hole, install into the hole. And uh, it, it installed right down to the hole. Uh, pretty good, you know. It's just right on. It mounts right on. See that? Okay. Okay, you guys see it, right? Okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just talk about the hole here. Uh, I'm going to have to take my camera over here. Yeah, it's better. So you guys can see the gaps. See this? I mean, that's a gap. There's going to be gaps, uh, especially like from the outside here. Because let me push down a little bit. See, when I push it down all the way down, there's still going to be gaps. See that? Same thing like over here. Most likely, there's gaps all around it. Um, but the mostly, I see the gap more like over the outside corner. See? The inside is pretty fine, so see when I push it down, there's still going to be gap on the right side. So I'm going to have to go look for some uh, uh, rubber, thick rubber piece or anything really. Uh, some cut off a tire or some big piece of junk, big piece of rubber like about this size. And then I'm just going to use uh, Gorilla Glue. And just stick it right on, glue it right on, and have it, you know, even it up, even that gap up, and then uh, mount it on. But I can, I can just try to mount it on right now. Screw the bolts on, uh, screw the nuts on, but uh, it might not be, you know, stable. It might wiggling or something, but I don't know yet. It might be tight, uh, even though they have gaps. It might tighten too, so won't know until I do it so I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna do it right now anyway I'm gonna do it so to see you know if it's if it's really uh, if I'm gonna if it's really gonna uh, hold my spoiler while I'm driving if not if it's wiggling after that or something I'm just I'm gonna have to find like I say I'm gonna have to find some type of uh, thick rubber piece and cut it about that side of the bracket and then just uh, use Gorilla Glue all around that piece of uh, rubber and just glue it right on. But right now the gap is too big so even the Gorilla Glue uh, is going to be, I'm going to have to use a lot of Gorilla Glue that way so I don't want to do that either and it's not really, you know, it's not, it's not going to be tight if I do it that way. Uh, so I'm just gonna have uh, some tr some rubber trim, I guess you can say that. Kind of create and modify and make that trim up uh, the rubber piece, so I can, uh, you know, kind of trim it down there before I tighten it up uh, and put some Gorilla Glue. Okay, so that's it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, using some of the uh, wash and the bolts like I have here, uh, and uh, use uh, the wrench. Uh, to tighten the, the bolts and the, the nuts. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's start like uh, one on this side and one on this side. Let's start tighten the, the washer and the nuts. Uh, one on this side and one on this side first. Okay, see how it is. So mine's already zoom in. Um, let me see. right there let's see if you guys can see that view when I do it I guess you can't really see uh, 
the nuts when I screw it in, but it's all right. You you know what to do. Um, basically, just uh, let me carry the camera over here. Tell you guys first before I do it, so you guys know. Um, I would take a washer with this nut here. I would put okay. I would put this lock washer on first. Like on. Um, let's see about this side better because the sun getting to you over there. See, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can barely see on my camera. See, put the washer on like that, and then, oops, drop it. Can we do it with two hands now? Um, oh my goodness, it drops all the way. Okay, never mind. You get you get an idea after the washer. Um, just go ahead and uh, uh, put the nuts on, and then uh, tighten the nuts up. Okay, uh, do it on all of them, all four of them. Two, uh, do do one on here first, this side, and do the second one on this side, just to have the the wing, you know, tighten on. And then go ahead and uh, do this one next, and then this one over here. Tighten this bow over here next. Um, it's pretty simple. If all your bolts are already onto the bracket, tighten. And it should be, it should turn real good. It should tighten real good. It shouldn't be like losing or anything. Okay, if you, if you drill all the hole right. So my holes that I drill is all good now. Like um, nothing really losing. So I'm gonna cut the video now. Okay guys, you guys already kind of understand how to do that by now, right? To uh, uh, install and tighten on the spoiler wing um, onto a car now, right? So I'm gonna do test do that first. Tighten that bolts on. Tighten on my my uh, spoiler on, and then of course uh, there's probably still gonna be gaps. And uh, after that, I'll see if uh, if the spoiler is is tightened, and I'll I'll start making a video and show you guys after that too. And uh, we'll go on from then. Okay, we'll go on from there. Okay, All right. Oh yeah, guys. Another thing is, uh, you if you want to, uh, after you tighten in the the nuts a little bit, use a, a drill a driver that will work even faster. But uh, it might mess up, so I will use the wrench uh, to tighten in the, the nuts. Okay. And uh, this wing is is not finished. It's not like this. There's still two sides of the wing need to put on too. Okay. So remember that I'm gonna have to uh, show you guys in the other video on on the like the last video or something uh, to show you guys drill the the two sides to mount it on. So uh, all right, guys, see for now. See my next video.